I was having this conversation the other day and I was so adamant about it. What I said was, as human beings, there are certain things in our lives that we cannot explain. When it comes to the spiritual climate, when it comes to the spiritual world, we cannot explain spiritual things. And the worst thing that you can do is talk yourself out of your discernment and talk yourself out of your intuition. Why do we do that? Why do we do that? Why do we ask people to reassure us of things that we already know? Maturing in life is not just maturing in the physical. It's also maturing spiritually. Last year, towards the end of the year, I made a decision after a very traumatic thing happened to me. I said, I will never ignore my inner feelings again. I'm not going to do it. If I feel a hunch or an inkling or I feel a tug or a push or a pull or anything like that in my spirit, if I feel it, I'm going to listen to it. And not only am I going to listen to it, I'm not going to go and ha- ask somebody to reassure what I'm already feeling. Imagine God's trying to talk to you and God told you, you know, stay away from that person or don't go to this job or don't go to this event. And it's God. God may not come straight out and tell it to you just like that, but he gives you that discerning and intuitive feeling. Imagine God warns you and here you are asking everybody about what God like. Why? Why do we do this to ourselves? You guys, I really care about each and every one of you guys that are listening and that has supported this platform. I do. I really do. You all are wonderful. And in life, your vibe attracts your tribe. That's why you guys are here. I need you all to get to a point in your life where if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. If you have a feeling that someone something's not right about someone, then something's not right about them. If you get invited to something or you're supposed to go somewhere and you get a hunch, please, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Don't disrespect yourself by ignoring your intuition because you will forever regret it if you do. You will forever regret it if you do. I had a situation where, this was years ago, a family member invited me to a baby shower. And I was like, you know, I'm I'm not going to, no, you know. There's been a lot of weird stuff going on with that side of the family. I just know it's okay. And I knew, I knew. I knew, 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 I knew. I knew to not go. I felt it. But you know, when you're younger, and that has to do with my post that I posted earlier where I said that, you know, aging is so beautiful, especially when you're aging like fine wine. You know, people see aging as so negative. Like, <laughs> I am happy that I know what I know compared to me 10 years ago, okay? Because 10 years ago, the nonsense I went through, I will never go through that foolishness again. Ever. Ever. Because I know what I know now. And wisdom is a gift. Aging is a gift. Because you get to skip certain things, right? So I just, I knew to not go. But, you know, when you're young, you're not really, like, thinking about how certain, you know. Like, you're not taught to listen to your intuition. That's why when you guys, you have children and your children say, Mommy, I don't like that person. Or, or Daddy, I don't want to go there. Don't keep asking your kid why. And stop asking them to explain. You see, kids, kids are very intuitive. 
The reason why kids have a lot of intuition and discernment is because they don't have any stress or distractions of the world. So kids are intuitive and discerning. If you want to know who the devil is in your family, ask the four-year-old. The four-year-old will always tell you who the devil is in your family. Because kids are discerning. Kids have intuition because they don't have a bunch of distractions like we do as adults. You know, like as adults, it's like, okay, we got to go to work. We got to pay bills. We got this going on. Got that going on. This relationship, this going on. that. Like as adults, we're not really in tune and it sucks, but we're not in tune because we don't have time. We don't have time. Like I've been up since 5 a.m. I don't really have much time. So it's like we don't really have time to really balance ourselves. And the more balance you become, the more intuition you get. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm going to go. Like I'm probably just stressed or feeling anxious. So I go and that was an event where I had a family member try to attack me when I was a minor. I think I've shared this story before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I shared this before when I put out that video about, you know, there are certain invitations you have to decline. So this was that event where I got attacked at a family baby shower. And I felt the feeling to not go. And then... When I called a family member who didn't show up about it, this family member was like, well, that's so funny because you didn't even want to go. Like you had a pool that told you not to go, but you still went. I went against my intuition and I regretted it after the fact. I'll never go against my intuition again. I don't ever question my intuition. I'm never going to call someone and ask them, why am I feeling what I'm feeling? That is spiritual immaturity when you do that. They don't know why you're feeling what you're feeling. They don't know why you caught a weird vibe from that person. They don't know why something is pulling you to not sign that business deal. They don't know because they don't have the Holy Spirit. And they may have the Holy Spirit, but they're not in tune with him. But you are. And then you're asking questions and you're asking yourself, like, why do I have to, you know, listen to my inner knowing let me go and ask somebody what they think stop asking people about spiritual things i'm gonna share a story with you guys that's very scary but i'm gonna share it anyways and you know i'm, I'm probably gonna start my private spotify podcast um it's gonna be a monthly membership i'm gonna probably gonna start it and it's going to kind of be like in a way a, a diary of mine to you all. Because there's certain things that, you know, every platform is different. And I just really want that intimacy where I can really go in depth on certain things I've experienced in my life. So you guys can, because that's so why I can help you guys a little bit better. I kind of have to restrict myself a lot um, depending on the platform or whatever because I don't want to, you know. But... I'm going to develop a a more private, intimate area because there's a lot of things that I'm holding back on a lot. Like if you guys think, you know, my content is good, like I'm holding back on so much. You have no idea. I have to always give half stories to you all, half stories, because I don't want to go too deep. You know, I'll work on that this week. But when I was... I think at the time I was about 17. Oh my God, this story gives me chills. It's so scary. This is one of the major stories where I real, where I knew God was real. And I knew he was real. And I knew, and I knew, and I knew, and I knew, and I knew that God was always with me because of these occurrences. And I can't share too much, but I'll share a little bit. When I was 17, I went to a family member's house with my parent. And this is back in the time when I was, when I was, you know, in high school and stuff, college, and I was, you know, still communicating with those, oh God, let me not even call them names, but Lord have mercy. So anyways, we go to this family member's house and I remember sitting there and I felt something eerie. And if you don't know what eerie means eerie is like scary unsettling like 
sending a shiver up your spine, uneasy, something very sinister, dark energy. When I was sitting across from this family member, I, I just got this random flow of eeriness. And I'm like, oh my God. And I, you know, as everyone's talking, I look to the floor and in my heart, I say, God, why am I feeling this dark energy? Why am I feeling this, this fam- this feeling exuding from this family member? You know, I've grown up around this family. This is so weird. And then God told me something that I cannot repeat on this, on, on, on here. But God told me something and, and he said it so clearly, like, I mean, I was in shock. And then when I got in the car with my parent, I said, listen, I got to tell you something. They said, what happened? I said, I felt this and I was told this. And my family member turned around, and looked at me, their jaw dropped. And they said, my parent turned around, and looked at me, their jaw dropped. And they told me, they said, I felt the same thing. And then later on in life, it was confirmed to me that this family member was doing what family members do to your life when they don't like you. I don't even have to mention it. And it's just so weird to me that somebody three times your age will go out of their way to try... And do things to a child? A 17-year-old, that is a kid. But you see that jealousy. That's why I keep telling you guys to not bring people around your kids. And I had this conversation with my parent the other day. And and they apologized to me. And they said, listen, like, I didn't know what I know now. But you're right. You know, a lot of times people see the way you're treating your kids. They see how much you love your kid. You know, they see how much you and your kid have a good relationship. And they don't like that. So they start messing with your kid's life early. Messing with your kid's destiny early. And they think you won't find out. They think that they're going to be able to just keep pondering. They think that God... The exposer of all things is not going to spin the block and expose and let you know what's going on. But regardless of the the fact, it's just like when I felt that feeling, it's not until a decade later that it was confirmed to me. More than a decade later. And from that point on, now that I'm growing older spiritually, I'm getting older spiritually and physically, I will not not trust my intuition. I trust my intuition because I know if I don't, I will regret it. If I have a funny feeling about somebody, I will regret it if I don't listen to intuition or discernment. And a lot of you guys, stop calling up people and say, oh, well, I felt this about so-and-so. What do you think? Don't do that. Spiritually, every time you ask people to confirm your intuition, you are lowering your intuitive and discerning bound uh, battery you're draining your intuitive ba- battery when you are asked people cannot confirm with your feeling they are not god they can't straight up confirm your discernment when god's trying to talk to you you're gonna go to somebody and ask them to confirm what god is saying like come on guys ladies and gentlemen that's not how it works Whatever you feel, you feel for a reason. And you have to develop different practices to help you ground yourself so that you can always develop your discernment and intuition. Because if you don't, you will regret it. And this same thing can be applied to dating, okay? If you go out with that man or that woman and something's not right, something's not right. Stop trying to go leave the date and you're driving home and you're like, well, maybe I'm just a, have a fear. Maybe I got fear. I got fear of a new relationship. Maybe that's no, 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 no. You're feeling something because that's what it is. Stop trying to talk yourself out of what God is telling you. was 18 
I was sent to another state to visit my father's family. I was set to stay in the home of a family member. My parents did not go. I was the only one that went. And when I went in this room, I walked in. Very eerie, that that feeling. You know? The minute you start to... The the minute that feeling, you already know you got to get out that situation. But when you're a child, you... and, And that's what makes me feel so bad for children. That's what makes me feel so bad for teenagers. You know, they can't walk away. You know, the family members, the friends, the toxic family, the toxic parents, they can't walk away. And for all you teenagers watching, I am praying for you. You don't have much independence yet, but it gets better over time, I promise. But I walked in and there goes that eerie feeling. Here comes that eerie feeling. And when I walk in the room, I see two life-size dolls on each side of the bed that I'm going to sleep on. The room assigned to me has life-size dolls on each table and I say um can someone remove these I don't I'm not a doll person let's get these out the room okay because I won't be able to I I won't be able to feel well having these strange um I don't do dolls, okay? When I was a child, my family knew, don't buy me dolls, okay? I think they're creepy. I think they're weird. And I don't like them, okay? But these were life-size dolls, meaning they were, like, literally four foot eleven. Like, sitting on the table, foot hanging and all. And I was like, oh, no, baby. I don't get down like that. I I may be young, but I'm not stupid, okay? And it's just those type of experiences right there. Don't ignore whatever weird feeling that you have. And if you're feeling it, it's because God wants you to know about something, okay? A lot of times, even when I'm on my my girl chat or guy chat calls, do you guys notice how I always tell you guys, okay, well, what do you think? When you guys ask me, I flip it back to you. I'm intuitive and discerning. I usually know the answer usually not all the time but the reason why I flip it to you because I'm training you to trust yourself I'm training you to trust your intuition that's why I flip it back it's not because I don't want to answer it or I'm trying to dismiss you I'm teaching you to trust thyself I'm teaching you to trust that voice in you that's speaking to you, that is trying to get you to understand something. I don't want you guys to keep going to outside sources to confirm what God is telling you about a person, place, or thing. Intuition cannot be explained. It's spiritual. You just have to trust it and trust God.